Many support players complain that their cores are always farming and they don't know what to do in game. Well, you should play Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet is the most contested hero in TI qualifiers and 7.34b. He is either banned or picked in every single game. Not only that, he is either picked or banned in the first phase every single time. This video will cover why Nature's Prophet is the strongest support in the game. Nature's Prophet is not only the strongest but easiest hero to play as you don't have to play around your summons anymore. The skill build is pretty simple. Every game that you'll see from Dota 2 Pro Tracker will almost have the same skill build. You just have to max your Sprout and Teleport. I'll explain why. Nature's Prophet outscales every other enemy support in lane as he has 620 attack range. That is more than almost every other support. Combined with Sprout which has a level 1 cast range of 625, which means if you sprout enemy heroes, you can attack them, but their attack range will fall short and they won't be able to trade attacks. Sprout also deals damage and has a very low cooldown and mana, which makes the spell even more amazing as you can spam it in lane without running out of mana. One broken thing about Sprout is that even if enemy eats Tango to get out of Sprout, they will not heal and supports don't usually buy Quelling Blade. So either they will have to take all the damage from Sprout and auto attacks or waste their Tango and get no healing out of it. Teleport is an amazing ability at level 1 now. If you teleport somewhere, you get 36 bonus damage on the first hit and every single hit gives you 1 armor for 15 seconds, which is insanely strong for the early fights and enables you to gank any lane as teleport is global. The damage and amount of hits increase as you take more levels into teleport. For the starting items, there are two variations. The first one is a set of tango, three branches, circlet, sentry and blood grenade. This build is preferred if you are playing against heroes like Timbersaw, Morphling, Alchemist or Leshrac with a Blackstone, where you need to build a Vessel as Circlet can be converted into Urn and then Vessel. Vessel reduces the HP regeneration by 45% and you need it against heroes that have high HP regen. Sentry can be used to block small camp or unblock big camp. The second variation is a set of Tango, two branches, Blightstone, Sentry and Blood Grenade. This build is good for trading in lane and preferred if you are building an early medallion and solar crest against heroes that deal physical damage. Nature's Prophet has a good attack range which helps him easily pressure the enemy heroes by auto attacking and spamming Sprout which has only 70 mana at level 1. In the laning stage, all you need to do is keep your distance from the enemy, spam Sprout and auto attack, that's it. Sprout is also a point target spell which means if you use Sprout by clicking on an enemy, it will 100% land. So there's no chance of missing and in case you have made some mistake and took a lot of damage from enemies, you can teleport to base and teleport back to lane in few seconds. You can also teleport to any lane where you see a kill potential and set up easy kills but make sure to secure your lane first. With teleport, you can also secure the water rune, power runes for your mid lane and try to sneak XP rune at minute 7, 14 and 21. But make sure to use your scan before trying to steal the wisdom rune because you don't want to end up feeding. Nature's Prophet Ultimate deals 10% more damage per unit hit. So, if the enemy hero that you want to target is at bottom lane, it's preferred to use your ultimate on the top lane or any other lane creep. So it bounces and deals more damage. Getting points in Nature's Call, which is Nature's Prophet summons, is up to you. If you want to pressure towers with your team, you can get points into summons and tank the tower with the summon trends. Otherwise, you can skip it. Nature's Prophet itemization has different options. You can try out different items depending upon the heroes you're up against and see what build fits your playstyle. To give you a general idea, if the enemy team has heroes like Ember Spirit, Storm Spirit or any other hero that is heavily shut down by root, you can go for Atos. If your team lacks catch, you can get an Atos in that scenario as well. You can go for Solar in case enemy team has a lot of physical damage cores. Solar also helps you secure an early Roshan. You can tank the Roshan with your summons and with the Solar's negative armor, your team can easily take the Aegis. You can also build a vessel for heroes with good health regeneration like Timbersaw, Morphling. Scepter is also a good option. It reduces the cooldown of your ultimate and roots the enemy it hits, which provides good cash during team fight or a pick off on map. Nature's Prophet has a wide range of items that he can make. You can figure it out by yourself by trying new items yourself. Most heroes have scalability issues. They fall off at some point but Nature's Prophet with his wide range of item pool can scale very well in every point of the game. Overall, Nature's Prophet is the strongest hero right now. Nature's Prophet has a strong laning stage, 
he can gank to other lanes very easily, has multiple variations in items depending upon the game, it can farm jungle and become a core in late game, Nature's Prophet can push side lanes and apply pressure to enemies towards, and Nature's Prophet can join fights globally. Nature Prophet Shard is also a great ability. It has multiple uses. In high rank game and pro game, people use fog advantage to take team fights. NP Shard reveals heroes hiding in fog within 1200 range, which can give your team a great info to take a fight. It can also be used to punish monkey king that is always hiding in trees. Shard can also be used to slow enemy heroes in team fight as the trends are also counted as trees. For the talents, you can choose according to what you like. If you like to play with summons, then you should go for nature's call cooldown. Otherwise, the ultimate's base damage talent is equally good. If you're playing support nature's profit, I would suggest you to go for trends summon talent because you'll be having 12 teleportation stacks on level 4 teleport anyways and their duration is only 15 seconds. Both talents on level 20 are very strong. If you're playing against heroes like Ember Spirit, Storm Spirit or a Morphling, you should definitely go for Sprout Leech talent as they won't be able to get out of Sprout. On the other hand, if you're playing against heroes like Drow, Medusa, any strong range carry, that 100% miss Sprout chance would be insanely broken. On 25, you can go for remove teleportation cooldown talent as you will be able to go anywhere on map whenever you want with the teleportation stacks. It will also help you cut waves and push out the lanes easily as well as farm anywhere you want. I am pretty sure this hero is going to get a nerf very soon. Till then, spam nature's profit and get your MMR. If you are interested in private coaching, you can join my discord linked in description. Please make sure to subscribe and like the video. Do let me know if you have any feedback, otherwise have a good day and good luck with your games.